I think we're ready. We are for our SSI in the news headlines for the week. And Darwin, you're up first. Yes, our first article is focused on the surgical robotics platform and a great article on Vicarious Surgical as they move to go public. Yeah. They'll raise $150 million while bringing on Beck and Dickinson as an investor. Vicarious is an incredible story. Uh, CEO Adam Sox and Chief Technology Officer, uh, Officer Sammy Khalifa were actually college roommates. Uh, and they met Dr. Green during that time frame, who is now their Chief Medical Officer. Vicarious is the first robotic surgical platform to receive FDA breakthrough designation and is targeting the hernia market. There are 2 million hernia surgeries annually in the United States. And the ventral hernias account for about 500,000 of those surgeries. Uh, and 20% of those end up having to uh, have a, be operated on for a recurring hernia. Mm -hmm. Typical robots for this surgery have taken about four hours to perform, and Vicarious has gotten the surgery under an hour. That shorter time frame makes the surgery uh, less uh, risky for patients and obviously more cost effective for hospitals. Vicarious is looking to enter the gallbladder and abdominal surgery markets next, which would open up an additional 39 million surgeries. That's a lot of surgeries. That's a lot of surgeries. This market has less than 3% of all surgeries that are performed by ro uh, robotic platforms, so it's exciting possibilities. Absolutely. There's just really a lot of growth, I think, around the robotics technology right now with surgeries. Uh, our next article, uh, Intuitive Surgical, uh, is a large robotic surgical company. Uh, they just mapped out a $500 million expansion to their Georgia facilities. Um, yeah, it's absolutely huge. So this expansion is going to take place over the next three years. Uh, it's going to add about 750,000 square feet to their current footprint and uh, 1,200 new positions there in Georgia. That's amazing. Um, so this is all due to the continued growth of about 70% year after year to include during the uh, pandemic in the surgical robotic space. Uh, and this expansion for them is going to include uh, not just office space, but it's also going to be manufacturing and engineering facilities and space, as well as training labs in-house for surgeons and hospital staff to come to. Try to get just a few of those jobs, okay? All right, we'll work on a couple of those. Last article has to do with cadence uh, and virtual, right? Yeah. We talked a lot about the growth in telehealth and virtual medicine. So as that continued to grow from the pandemic, uh, nine months after being formed, Cadence kicks off its remote care platform with 41 million uh, in initial investment. The Cadence system connects vitals and wellness data and then incorporates medical history to support their daily needs in areas like diabetes, COPD, or heart failure um, to help patients stick to their drug regimens and properly track symptoms or side effects. Yeah. They finalized a partnership with the physician group company LifePoint Health out of Tennessee, I believe, which will ultimately introduce the marketing platform to more than 100,000 of their own patients right. with an initial focus on adherence to heart failure therapies. That's excellent. Make sure you check out our YouTube channel for other in the news headlines, additional training, and job opportunities. We hope this brings you value and have a fantastic day.